I want to share a testimony of God's grace today. Uh, one of the things the Lord spoke to me this morning was from 2 Peter 3, 18. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, here's a testimony of grace. Uh, yesterday morning, uh, or Sunday morning, uh, rather, uh, as I was spending time with the Lord, uh, I recorded a short video uh, telling and sharing that I heard a huge crack uh, of thunder that made me jump uh, with an accompanying uh, lightning flash. And, and the Lord spoke, um, uh, uh, the glory, uh, the God of glory thunders. Uh, so we went on to church. Uh, we were late because we had lunch afterwards. We took someone to lunch. So we were coming back mid-afternoon, and I noticed that one of the trees in our front yard was leaning pretty badly. Uh, and I, I just prayed. I said, Lord, don't let it fall, because I knew it would fall primarily uh, not only on our property, but in the street. Uh, and so we had no sooner pulled in our garage, which is in the back of the house. We have a, a deep lot. Uh, and I'd gotten out of the car and was coming in the back door, and I heard a siren, uh, um, uh, whoop. And uh, so I came into the house and, and uh, the front doorbell was ringing. And so I put all of my things down, rushed to the front door and uh, opened the door. And lo and behold, the tree had fallen. And there was a, um, uh, a man there. There had been a, a fire truck down the street uh, that saw the whole thing. And, and our car had just passed where this tree fell, literally a minute uh, or minute and a half before that. Uh, and uh, this fire truck and a full crew uh, actually witnessed its fall. So they came immediately, rang the bell, and started uh, cutting all of the branches and the parts of the tree that were in the street blocking traffic immediately. Um, and uh, I just rejoiced about that. Uh, and then the next morning, early Monday morning, my husband and I were praying, and about 8.30, uh, we heard motion at the front door and we went on with our prayer time. We didn't stop, but it had been a tree service depositing a card, uh, and the gentleman came back, and there was a, a tree uh, service that was working in our neighborhood. Uh, they had all of the equipment, the, the chipper and, and, and the big hoist, uh, and they immediately were able to uh, cut up our tree and, and dispose of it, uh, and it, it cost hardly any, any money at all. Um, so uh, I, I just saw from the beginning to end, uh, where it took no effort uh, on our part, uh, no harm came. Uh, it, it was easy. There was so much grace involved in this whole uh, episode, this whole process uh, of, of a tree falling. And I'll post that on our, my community channel so you can see it. It wasn't a, a huge tree in circumference, uh, but it was a tree and, and it, it filled up uh, half of our front yard. Uh, uh, and, and the, you know, the Lord had just been speaking uh, to us through Psalm uh, 29, that the, the God of glory thunders. Uh, his voice shakes into everything. Uh, it breaks the cedars, the trees. It breaks and splinters the trees. Um, uh, he had also had me post a recent video, the monoliths will fall. So you may think this is, this is uh, far-fetched. I don't. Uh, when you walk with God, um, uh, there are no coincidences. Uh, there's only uh, circumstances orchestrated by the Lord. Uh, but I believe he's just punctuating what he's speaking in, in this day. Uh, so let's talk about grace for, for just a moment. Um, he said clearly this morning to grow in his grace. And I asked him, well, Lord, how do you grow in grace? Uh, now let's define grace. Grace is favor. It's loving kindness. It's his goodness, sweetness, pleasure, delight, tender mercy. So it's all of these things. And you know, there's nothing that happens without God's grace. We know that salvation uh, uh, doesn't happen without God's grace. Uh, or Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you are saved through faith. 
and that not of yourselves. It's the gift of God and not as a result of works that no one should boast. So, so salvation, but I, I, I would extend that to say that, that every, everything from the Lord that we receive is by grace through faith. Um, uh, trials, uh, our trials, uh, second Corinthians 12, nine, uh, the Lord said to spoke to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is perfected in weakness. So when you're in the midst of trials and you don't feel that you can take it anymore, uh, remember and appropriate God's grace. That is one of the things he said. He said to apprehend or appropriate my grace. So the first step in, in, in growing in grace is to appropriate it. So the next time you're in a, in a, a trial that you don't believe you can, can bear, cry out for grace, grace, Lord, more of your grace. Uh, I receive it by faith. Uh, finances come by grace. Um, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, and God is able to make all grace abound to you, that always having all sufficiency, you might have an abundance for every good work. So we can see that abundance in finances uh, uh, is dependent upon grace. Spiritual gifts. Uh, many of you are longing to operate uh, 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 in a greater capacity in the spiritual gifts. Romans 12, 6 says, we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Uh, there's a scripture, and it's uh, about the sower and the seed. Um, but in Matthew 13, 11 and 12, Jesus says, To you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom. For whoever has shall more be given, and he will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he does have shall be taken away. So you see that as you grow in grace, as you appropriate intentionally asking for and receiving by faith, as you appropriate more and more of God's grace in every uh, aspect of your lives, that, that to him who has some or much more will be given. So you will automatically be given more, thus growing in grace. So I just commend you. I, I commend to you this word of grace. Grace, grace to you. Grace, grace to you in Jesus' name.